Welcome back traders. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build custom blocks and use it inside the builder of Strategy Point X to generate strategies and different variations of it. These custom blocks will be based on some idea that you have that you can bring it inside. So I uh, chose the concept of floor pivots. Uh, if you don't know anything about floor pivots, they used to use it in uh, back in the open cry uh, pits in Chicago. And it's a way of calculating some resistance levels R1, R2, R3, and S1, S2, S3 for support. And basically, usually the price hovers between S1 and R1, and when it passes R2 or S2, it's considered a high volatility day. There are many strategies on it. I'm not gonna bother you with that. You can read about it and learn. Uh, basically, it's a way uh, of having some level of breakout or breakdown. Uh, the way to calculate it, there are many calculations. Uh, this one uses uh, these calculations. I'm gonna use uh, this calculation. So the floor pivot is calculated as follows. The pivot point of yesterday, so today in the morning you wake up. So you take yesterday prices in the day session. So the high of the, the high of the day yesterday plus the low of the day yesterday plus the close of yesterday divided by three that's the pivot point and then r1 s1 r2 s2 r3 s3 are all a calculation related to this so for example resistance one it's two times pivot point minus the low of yesterday and s1 is the minus the high r2 is pivot point plus high minus low and so forth so a simple strategy could be if the close goes above resistance one then that's a breakout and then we go long and if the close goes below s1 then that's a breakdown and then we go short and of course you can change r1 r2 r3 or s1 s2 s3 or you can pick the open the low the close whatever it's just a level to use for breakout or breakdown so now that we have this formula i'm going to go to strategy context and we go to Algo Wizard, and you pick a new, and it doesn't matter here. We're gonna use the customized feature. So before I taught you this, which is a way to build, so for example, the point of initiation, open high, low, close, and now we can go to custom blocks. As you can see, I built many of these. Uh, it's a new feature in strategy context, and it's an excellent feature to add. Uh, so I built some volatility uh, patterns, but today we're going to go over the floor pivots. So floor pivots S1. So if we can go back to the formula. So S1 is two times pivot point minus high. And my strategy is for S1, the close has to be smaller than S1 to go short. So the close, zero means today, this is the shift. So close of today, and this could be uh, if you're doing intraday. So close zero means close of this bar. So of the times, let's say 10 a.m. That means the close of 10 a.m. is smaller than whatever the pivot is. But the pivot calculation is based on the daily. So it's two times the pivot point at this time so these two brackets hold the pivot point so it's high of daily yesterday plus close daily yesterday plus low daily yesterday divided by three all this is the pivot and then minus the high of daily yesterday so that's the formula so of course i did these for all of them and we're going to create the, let's say, R1, uh, just as an example. So how to do, how to enter this formula in? So we go to, we say, uh, let's say starting from zero. Actually, let me do one. So 
the, this is a unique uh, key for uh, strategy quant X. It can be anything. I'm just gonna put you know one two three four. The name is what's gonna show up uh, in the uh, blocks. So we'll call this floor pivot R one and temp because I'm gonna use this just to show you how to build it. Okay. So now this is the uh, this is the block. And then I'm going to add a condition to that block. And then we need this on the side to see. So we're doing the close smaller than, uh, sorry, it's R1. So the close is higher than. So I'm going to pick the close. So remember, we want to do the close now, regardless of it's daily or intraday. So I'm going to pick the close now. It's here, but if you want it, it's in the price. So I can go to daily close. I'm going to go to close. So the close and shift is zero because the close now is greater than and then I need to see the formula. It's two times the pivot point minus low of yesterday. So as you can see, first one is two times pivot. That's a section. And then this is the other section. So the first formula, formula is minus. Is this one so I pick function minus and now I have these two parts so this is part one and this is part two part two is easy the slow of day yesterday so I go to part two which is low of yesterday shift by one So that's the law of yesterday. And then part one is two times the pivot point. Remember the pivot point is high plus low plus close, all of them of yesterday divided by three. So now first I need to do the multiplication part. So this left part is a multiplication. So left function is a multiplication. Now, part one is two, that's easy. So it's a number and that's two. And then this part is the pivot point. Now the pivot point is three items, addition divided by three. So it's a division first. So then we pick function division. Then the right part is easy, it's three, and the left part is addition. So first we do the three, that's the easiest part. So again it's a number three. And then the left part is the addition of three. Now addition is only two parts, so we'll do two of them. So part one. Again, it's the high, low, and close. So I'll do high. And this is high daily yesterday. And then here, since it's only two parts, I'll do another addition inside. But they're all in the same parentheses, so it will work out. high plus low plus close high low close they're all addition and as you can see there are two parentheses here when I put the mouse on the second parentheses you can see the whole equation and then divided by three and when I put this parentheses you can see that this is a whole division and then when I put the mouse on this another parentheses and you can see now it's including the multiplication by two, which is the pivot point. And then they are all minus low D. So this is correct. Okay, now that I have it, I say save. And now floor pivots is saved. Okay, now 
uh, in strategy quant uh, to build the opposite side so usually if you want to go long you're going to do the opposite going short so i need to tell the strategy quant was which one is the opposite of which one so in our case i did some of them so in this case let's say floor pivot r1 is opposite pivot s1 and again i can do here floor pivot s1 is the opposite of i'm going to choose existing and it's the opposite of S1 opposite of R1. And then floor pivot S2 is obviously the opposite of R2. And then floor pivot S3 opposite R3. So just to make sure and save. So S1 opposite R1, R1 opposite S1, S2, R2, S3, R3, R2, S2, R3, S3. And I'm going to delete this one. And just to make sure you can see that floor pivots R1 is exactly the same as the one we just created. So I'm going to delete this. Okay, now that we are in Builder, I'm using the same uh, futures uh, data that we brought in a previous video. Let's put this down. So full setting, it's, uh, we're using 98 to 2010. This is my default actually building process. And, but we're just gonna change, okay, we're gonna build a simple strategy, both short and long, and I pick no symmetry. Let's create a random generation. And here I pick zero to one. So I only need one condition to be true. And I'll show you why. And then the rest are uh, normal. And then I'm not requiring stop loss and profit target. In, the okay. in building blocks, uh, let's pick uh, zero. So it's currently one block selected, pick all, pick zero, zero block, okay and zero block and five blocks selected this is the stop entry building block so i have close high low open and, and the atr this is for uh, stop limit price ranges why you have to pick something from here this is the level that that the trade is going to be entered at so while this is the condition to uh, to get the signal true or false this is the level so you need to pick something from here indicators i'm, I'm not going to pick because that's also used as a signal so let's go back to signals and then i can show you if you go all the way to custom and you can see these are the uh, the head uh, lines so candle pattern cci we need custom there it is custom conditions these are the custom blocks that you build so in my case custom custom blocks so these are the blocks that's going to show up in here now if i pick uh, let's pick long only so i'm going to pick r1 r2 r3 so i'm only going to long when the price is higher than these and the price will be one of these guys sorry okay so this is my signal when this signal is true go long okay now i picked long and short so i'm gonna go back here and say long only so now i'm only gonna long, go long when when one of these conditions is true okay and then i'm going to exit and you can see here i set one exit condition exit after bars if you click on custom you can set this to a value or a generated value so let's say you can exit between two bars and 15 bars step one so then the strategy is going to look for these conditions so yes entry is done then on entry some strategies with the same entry can exit in two and three four five six whatever number of bars now i'm going to fix it to a 
fixed value of $10. Okay, so regardless of the strategy of how it's going to enter, it's going to exit after 10 bars from entry. Okay, let's go to build now and start building. See what comes out. I did set some uh, rankings to filter uh, trades, but uh, let's leave that out for now. I just want to show you what's the code is going to be. So stop. So you see here it's called the long single entry. It's a custom block. That's one of my blocks. Okay. And if you go to easy language, it will show you, I use easy language, so it will show you exactly what it is. So in this case, the long entry signal is value one greater than value two. Value one what is the close. Value two in this case is two times, this is the pivot point, divided by three, minus low. And if you remember, this would be two times pivot point minus low. So this is R1. Okay. Now I can pick also the S and um, go long and short. Say, let's clear all this. If you pick only one condition, so this is now long and short, but I'm picking only one condition in entry rule. That means it can only use one condition. And in our case, it's, it's going to be either um, R1, R2, R3, S1, S2, S3. So only one of them. So let's go back here. And so long entry signal is value one less than value two. So the close, which is value one, smaller than. So this has to be a S1, S2, R3. So two times pivot points minus a high. So this is S1. And short entry is value one greater than value two. So close is higher than pivot points plus high minus low. So this is R2. Okay. And if we go to the next one. So this one again is uh, S. This is R1. Two times pivot point minus low. Short signal is S3. It's low minus two times pivot point. Low minus two times pivot. High minus pivot point. High minus pivot point. And for example, this one, you will see a list of trades always exiting after 10 bars. And you can see here in the close type, it's exit after X bars. And they're all after 10. So you can see. For example, March 19, exit April 3, and April 6, exit 22nd, April 28, exit. Now remember, this is not 10 bars because it includes holidays, yes? So in the chart, the number of bars since entry does not include holidays. So it only includes actual bars. So that's why you'll see it's not actually 10 days. It is uh, including the holidays, which is minimum weekends plus any holiday in between. Okay. And of course, these strategies now can be, although it's you decided on this, but it's like anything in strategy quant in every other aspect. You can do robustness test testing, you can do ranking, money management, uh, all the things that you're used to in strategy quant X, you can do on this. It's just you picked exactly what the, uh, the what is the logic of the signal is. Thank you for watching. I hope you got some news out of this video. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell so Google algos can pick up on these things and show it to other traders. See you in the next video.